Hi there, my name is Christian Gaddy, and this is a video tutorial for setting up an Android development environment on Microsoft Windows 7. To begin, we will be downloading the necessary components for this. First thing we're going to do is open up our web browser, and then search for the JDK, or the Java Development Kit. This first link here, Java SE Downloads, is the first thing that we want to go to. So here we're going to scroll down a little bit until we get to Java SE 6 Update 31. Under JDK, go ahead and click Download. Scroll down a little bit and click Accept License Agreement. Now you have several different options to choose from, although the ones that we're interested in is Windows x86 or Windows x64. x64 being for 64-bit operating systems and x86 being for 32-bit operating systems depending on which architecture you're currently running, uh, make your appropriate decision. I'll be downloading the 64-bit version. Okay, so while that downloads, open up in a new tab, developer.android.com. Click the SDK tab here, and then you have two options, one of which being a uh, just a zip file holding the contents of the SDK and the other being an executable file which automatically installs the SDK for you. So that's what we're going to go with for simplicity's sake. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, and now as those two download, we're going to open up a third tab, and we're going to search for Eclipse. This is the IDE that we'll be using to develop for Android in. So go ahead and click this first link, Eclipse.org. And here we'll navigate to the downloads link. And then we're going to be wanting to download Eclipse Classic 3.7.2. You're going to pick either 32 bit or 64 bit, again, depending on your current architecture. I'll be downloading 64 bit. Now, this page is the same for both, except uh, this won't be saying x86 underscore 64. Um, and now you can download either from, sorry, from this link here or from this. And this is your best bet because it starts the download immediately from the best mirror depending on your location. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, so you can exit the Eclipse and the Java uh, tabs. We'll be needing this page in a little bit. So we're going to minimize that and open up your downloads folder. Okay, now the first thing we're going to want to do is install the JDK. So double click on that, give admin privileges, and now just click next. The default here is fine, as is here, so click next. And now uh, the JDK will continue installing. We'll just have to wait a little bit for it to prompt us again. Okay, and again, the default is fine here, so program files java jre6, it's perfectly fine. Click next. And just allow it to continue the installation. Okay, now that the JDK is finished installing, go ahead and click Finish. And yeah, a registration page will load for Oracle, but you can go ahead and close that. We don't need to register our product. Um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is install the Android SDK. So go ahead and double click on that. Click Yes. Click Next. 
it has found our JDK, so that's perfect. Click Next again. This you can change to wherever you want it to be located. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move it to my main home folder. Click Next. Or here. Android SD. So I'm having it in my users folder, and then the name of my use my username is Cgaddy here, and then it wants I want it to be in the Android dash SDK folder. So click next. This is fine the default again, so click install. And okay, it's been successfully installed. You can go ahead and, ahead and click next, and we will uh, uncheck this so we can go and see how to actually load it from uh, from the file manager. So go ahead and click finish. And now we hit control N to open up a new instance of the file manager. And we're gonna go ahead and go to <coughs> our home folder, go to android-sdk. And right here you have the AVD manager and the SDK manager. You can go ahead and double click on that and that opens up the Android SDK. You can see here if we uncheck this, if you were to want to install Ice Cream Sandwich or Honeycomb or Gingerbread or any of these SDK platform versions, you can do that from here by just selecting the tick box and clicking install X packages then accept all and install, but due to my limited uh, download speeds, I'm not going to go ahead and do that just yet, or not in this video tutorial, as it will exceed the limit of time for this. Um, but you can go ahead and check off the uh, tools, uh, tools option, click install two packages, accept all, and now this is the same procedure that it would be for installing any of these. Click install and now you'll see your progress down here. It's currently downloading the platform tools. And this is fine, this is normal, just let that run. It's a relatively small package. Okay, it's complete, so you can go ahead and get click close, and then you can exit the SDK manager. Now you can exit this, and now the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, unzip the Eclipse SDK. So we can go ahead and double click on that, and hit Control N again to open up a new instance. And we're going to be going to our home folder again, and we're going to drag and drop the Eclipse folder into our home folder. Now, this was personal preference. You can place any of these wherever you want. You could place on your desktop, you could place in program files. Personally, I like to keep it in my home folder. It just keeps everything for Android in the same location. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video so you don't have to sit here and watch this extract. Okay, the extraction is uh, wrapping up. Alright then, so now we'll just navigate to our Eclipse folder. And we can exit this uh, zip folder in the background. And we're going to run the application Eclipse as seen right here. Uh, you can uncheck this because it would be a little annoying to have this prompt every time you want to open up Eclipse. So just go ahead and click Run. Okay, now Eclipse is asking us to set a workspace. Um, I'm just going to leave this as the default. You can put this wherever you want. If you already have a folder where you keep your like any existing code, you can go ahead and put that there or on your desktop, again, wherever wherever you see fit. And I'm going to go ahead and make this my default, so it doesn't ask me again. You can always change this in your settings for Eclipse if you decide that you want to have a different location for your workspace. But for our purposes here, I'm just going to go ahead and click Default. And then you're going to click OK.
Okay, now this is the Eclipse SDK, or IDE. Uh, we can exit out the welcome prompt, and now what we need to do is go back to our web browser. Now, we're on the developer.android.com site, and we're just going to navigate down here where it says ADT plugin for Eclipse, and click the link below there. So ADT 16.0.1. Now on the right hand side here, under in this document, see revisions, installing the ADT plugin, that's what we want to click on, installing the ADT plugin. Okay, now scroll down a little bit, and you have downloading the ADT plugin. Under option, or sorry, uh, number three in the list, you have a URL, we're going to go ahead and select and copy it, and minimize our browser. Now back in Eclipse, we will click help. Go down to install new software, click on that. Up here where we have the button that says add, click on that. And under name we will type ADT and we will paste in to the location the URL that we just copied which is https colon slash slash dl dash ssl dot google dot com slash android slash eclipse slash. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click the OK button and it is going to resolve the uh, location and it's going to be pulling in, here we go, developer tools if we click the arrow here you will see four different uh, four different uh, I guess software uh, plugins we're going to select all of them so if you collapse it that should be checked entirely and go ahead and click next it's calculating requirements and dependencies and you'll see all four are listed here, which is good, that's what we want. Go ahead and click next again. Click I accept the terms of the legal the license agreements. And then click finish. Now I'm going to go ahead and click details on here. You don't have to, this is just to see a little bit more of what's going on in the background. But this is just Eclipse uh, downloading and installing the Android Developer Tools uh, plugins for Eclipse. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click OK here. This is just saying that we understand that some of the software contains unsigned content. And now we're going to click Restart Now. This button is just going to restart the Eclipse SDK as it just needs to uh, just reboot as if Windows would need to reboot after a software update. And we can exit out of this folder. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is select this radio button that says use existing SDKs, click browse, click your home folder or wherever you placed it, placed your Android SDK rather, select the Android SDK folder, click OK, so now you have the exact location on your hard drive where the Android SDK is installed, click next. And then this is up to you whether or not you want to send usage statistics to Google. I'm going to leave it as yes, that's fine. If you want to put no, that's fine as well. Just make your choice. And then after that, click finish. And there you have it. That is a uh, complete video tutorial on setting up Android develop of setting up an Android development environment. Uh, my name is Christian Gaddy, and thank you very much for watching. If you want to go further with this you just need to understand that right here you have a button that opens up the Android SDK manager which is what we installed the Android tools with over there and this button here opens up the Android virtual device manager which allows you to run applications that you are developing in Eclipse uh, within a emulator of an Android phone. It is recommended to obtain an Android phone so you can actually test uh, functionality with an accelerometer or a gyroscope or a camera and whatnot. So uh, that's it. Overall, that's everything you need to know to get ready for development with Android. Uh, have fun coding, and thank you again for watching.